Now, when there's question of captaincy in Indian cricket, there's always bound to be drama and last-minute twists and turns. Hardik Pandya was one of the top contenders to lead India's T20 fortunes from this point on. That was the plan for a while. Hardik Pandya to take over the reins from Rohit Sharma for India as well as for Mumbai Indians over in the Indian Premier League, which is why he was the vice-captain of the Indian cricket team at the World Cup. The most logical pick. But last evening has thrown up quite a bit of uncertainty in that regard. There was a rather heated discussion within the BCCI around Pandya's candidature. The biggest concern seems to be whether he is the right fit given his injury-prone record and his past. In the absence of a majority in favour, the other option that has, I had mentioned yesterday seems to have a firm resonance within the board. There are strong murmurs that batting mainstay Surya Kumar Yadav could gain more support to lead the T20 squad. Surya Kumar Yadav has grown his in stature and his presence in the Indian dressing room has been very heartwarming. He's loved, there is a friendly vibe about him. From having attitude issues over in his state team at the start of his career to now maturing into a fun, energetic and clinical component in the Indian setup, Surya Kumar Yadav has come a long way. He also captained the side briefly against Australia, a series they won. Surya Kumar Yadav, interestingly, also has featured in the Kolkata Knight Riders IPL franchise. This was way back when Gautam Gambhir was captain at that point. This, of course, way before Mumbai Indians happened to the batter. There is another notion that Gautam Gambhir has his say in this process too, of the decision of appointing who the next captain would be. And that's the reason for the heavy back and forth on the announcement and the delay in the appointment of the next captain. Because this selection, though it seems insignificant, it's ahead of a series to Sri Lanka, is crucial because the think tank believes that this is the setup that will be in place for the long run, right up to the 2026 T20 World Cup. Whoever comes in here is going to take charge for that huge period of time. And that starts with this series. It's a brand new chapter. And so everyone involved, particularly the new coach, Gambhir, want to get this right and want to get this done their way. There can be no more chop and changes, which is why the deliberation and the complications that stopping from making this a straight up selection and promotion for Hardik Pandya from vice to captain. The other complication, of course, is the fact that Hardik Pandya has requested rest from the ODI series owing to personal matters that he needs to tend to. Reports earlier suggested that Rohit Sharma could take a break from the one days, but there are fresh reports coming in that that may not be the case and the skipper will return to helm affairs for the one-day internationals against Sri Lanka, which at least gives BCCI one less headache to resolve, that of who will be captain of the ODI bunch. But here's my take on this. Captaincy is a crucial call. Sporting teams groom leaders. They prepare players to step up when the time is right. And when the predecessor is going to step aside or hang up his or her boots so that the next in line is ready to take charge, has learned the ropes and the transition is smooth. So there are no hiccups. Unfortunately, or just by lack of design, that's not happened here in this Indian setup. No one has been given that space or the opportunity to be groomed as the next in line to take over from Rohit Sharma, who, let's be honest, himself took charge under very odd circumstances, keeping Virat Kohli aside. So this is not the perfect stage for a smooth takeoff. Having said that, it's critical to get this decision right because once they do, they will have to stick with it for a while. There is no looking back and it has to be a long-term agenda. So there can be no stopgap decisions from this point on. With a new coach coming on board, you need a captain who will have to sync up with him and that relationship needs air and space to breathe and develop. So BCCI needs to get this one right and run with it. So if there are any second guesses on fitness or rapport, those doubts will have to be put to rest one way or the other. The only concern here, what will the repercussions and the backlash of sidelining someone who was touted to was at least led to believe that he would be the next captain, B. Will the dressing room be a happy place and will there be no friction within the system and within the setup with this decision? That's something the BCCI have to ensure. Across continents, one powerful news source. bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter.
We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. As the world warms, nature sentinels will rise. As a billion hands will dig deep to write a new future for our planet.